हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इन अर्लियर ऑडियो वी ऑलरेडी डिस्कस अबाउट द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ प्लांट फिजियोलॉजी प्लांट फिजियोलॉजी मीन्स वॉट प्लांट फिजियोलॉजी इज अ साइंस विच डील्स विथ द स्टडी ऑफ बायोकेमिकल प्रोसेसेस और द स्टडी ऑफ मेटाबॉलिक प्रोसेसेस so the study of this all biochemical or metabolic processes this basic knowledge this knowledge of the plant physiology it helps or its scope it has great important scope in the basic science as well as by using this knowledge of plant physiology we can apply this knowledge in the various field so it has relevance with the applied sciences also so first of all we will discuss about the scope in basic sciences we know that the basic science anatomy the study of internal structure cytology the cell structure study of cell structure biology all the biological processes or biological things morphology study of external characters of the organism plant evolution how the plants evolved the genetics what is the it is the science of inheritance molecular biology it is the study of dna genes and the chromosomes taxonomy it is the study of science of identification nomenclature and the classification ecology the study of environmental science so the plant physiology it has the scope in various basic fields like anatomy biology morphology plant evolution genetics molecular biology taxonomy ecology and cytology by using the knowledge of plant physiology we can <clears throat> apply the, this knowledge in various fields of the applied sciences the various fields of applied sciences are the biophysics the biophysics is a science which deals with the physical phenomenon in the organism or in the plant fodder technology fodder technology means nowadays there are the number of large dairy farms so to provide the good and nutritious quality food to the animal so the technology is the fodder technology so by using the knowledge of plant physiology we can produce the good quality fodder the agriculture we know that So today we have various types of hybrid seeds or hybrid plants they are available in the market and there is the increased quality as well as yield of the crop it is due to the application of the plant physiology the next that is stress physiology the stress physiology means what the stress physiology means there are the number of natural forces or uh, they are applied on the crop which creates the stress and due to that stress it may harms the plant growth so this stress is it may be the drought it may be the flood it may be the salt it may be the heavy metals or different types of the or maybe high temperature so these are the different types of the stresses which develop on the plants due to the environment so some plants it may get die off in that condition but some plants they may survive in that stress condition also so plant physiology it helps us to know how that plant they survive in that condition what are the special abilities of that plant to survive in that condition so it is in the stress physiology then space science we know that 
देयर आर द नंबर ऑफ ऑर्गेनिजम्स ए फाउंड और स्टडीड इन द स्पेस साइंस एंड देयर फेनोमिनॉन्स एज वेल एज देयर डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ द प्रोसेसेस लाइक प्रोसेसेस दे आर स्टडीड अंडर द प्लांट फिजियोलॉजी दैन टिश्यू कल्चर फॉर द टिश्यू वी नो दैट टिश्यू कल्चर मीन्स वॉट द टिश्यू कल्चर मीन्स ऑन द आर्टिफिशियल न्यूट्रिएंट मीडिया जनरली द प्लांट टिश्यू इज ग्रोन इन टू अ न्यू प्लांट विच हैविंग द नोवेल कैरेक्टर्स सो बाय यूजिंग द नॉलेज ऑफ द प्लांट फिजियोलॉजी वी कैन ग्रो द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ द प्लांट्स एंड वी कैन प्रोवाइड द न्यूट्रिएंट्स एज पर देयर देयर रिक्वायरमेंट टू द ग्रोइंग टिश्यू so the plant physiology is most important in tissue culture then food technology food technology means what the we know that in today's market there are the number of food products are available there are the tremendous yield at the time of season but as the season over that crop get wasted instead of that if that food may get processed then it can be stored for the longer duration so the knowledge of plant physiology it helps to process the food under the food technology then crop physiology we know that there are the different types of the plants which shows the different environmental requirement nutrient requirements their life cycles are different so for example one term that is a plant photoperiodism in the plant photoperiodism there are the plants they are categorized as per their light requirement it may be the long day plant it may be the short day plant or it may be the day neutral plant or it may be the long day short day or short day long day so by using this knowledge of the plant physiology we can grow the crop inside the greenhouse okay so we must know the crop physiology we must know the physiology of that crop to grow much better than biotechnology the biotechnology is a science which deals with the technology with the bio with the organism so there are the number of biotechnologies tissue culture is one of the biotechnology greenhouse is a biotechnology production of enzymes is it is a biotechnology fermentation is a biotechnology so this number of the sciences they are deals with the biotechnology so in the biotechnology the plant physiology has the great importance the post harvest technology the post harvest technology means to protect the plant from the post harvest harm uh, or we can say that post harvest damage so post harvest damage means we can store it for the longer duration or we can process it i already told you in food technology we can process it or we can store it for the longer duration so that is a post harvest technology then seed technology for the production of good quality seeds with the novel characters this uh, knowledge of plant physiology is most important then fuel technology we know that the biofuel this biofuel also is, is it has importance uh, plant physiology also has great importance in the fuel technology then phytochemistry the uh, phytochemistry means it is the science in which the study of the different types of the chemicals which are present in the plant so that is the phytochemistry so with the help of plant physiology we get aware about the phytochemistry genetic engineering the genetic engineering is a science of production of genetically modified organism the genetically modified organisms they are also known as the transgenic for example bt cotton or bt brinjal 
so in we know that nowadays there are the number of characters which are produced in the uh, fruits or the plants for example uh, increase of the post harvest life increase of the pro uh, processing rate or production uh, production rate all these they are by the introduction or to resistance against the different types of the disease it is due to the introduction of a particular gene in that crop and it is studied under the genetic engineering then biochemistry the biochemistry it deals with biochemistry is deals with the various biochemical processes which are carried out inside the organism then biocontrol biocontrol means the killing of the pathogenic organism by using their natural enemies so plant physiology it provides knowledge so which diseases and which are the natural enemies to control that for example plant based products they can be used for as a biocontrol agent for example as a director or the indira so production of this it is by using the knowledge of plant physiology which chemicals which are present in them which which are helpful to the biocontrol seed so technology i already told you then biofertilizers the biofertilizers means these are the living organism which perform the function of nitrogen fixation or phosphate solubilization and <clears throat> it increases the yield and production of the crop so plant physiology it helps to state that how they work biofertilizer how they work they may be the symbiotic or non symbiotic they how they increase the production etc then ecophysiology the ecophysiology means it is the science which deals with the ecology it is the science which deals with the ecology so how the surroundings the affects on the plant or 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 on the plant physiology so that is a ecophysiology the pharmacognosy pharmacognosy is a science which deals with the study of raw material, raw drug so plant physiology it gives knowledge which chemicals which are present in the plant and particularly in which part that are present so that part of the plant we can use as a drug so plant physiology has the great scope in the plant physiology or it has the application in the plant physiology so the plant physiology it has the scope and application in various basic sciences as well as in in various applied sciences thank you